Miss Laura with Mill Farms. Today we're back out in the goat pen and we're back out in the goat pen so that I can tell you a story. It's story time. And today we're going to, I'm going to tell you the story about the very first goat that I ever saw give birth here at our farm. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the doe code and you know kind of what that means. This is a collab video with two wild onions. There'll be a playlist with their video in it and we'll keep a playlist running of everybody else who gets tagged in it. But hey, come on along. Let me tell you this story. It's going to be fun. All right, y'all. We're out here at what we call our goat playpen. Um, they sometimes get on it, sometimes don't. We built it out of pallets and some wooden racks that Larry got from work that they were going to throw away. But I brought you out here today to tell you this story because this is kind of where the climax of the story started happening. We had, we've sold them. We originally bought a herd of six goats, all Nigerian dwarf we were told, one buck, little young thing. We sold two of the older does because they were just, they weren't really what we wanted. They were real standoffish, real, almost kind of wild. Um, the person who had them before us didn't really spend a whole lot of time with them so we sold those two and settled down with what we had the end of January it was a Saturday it was a Saturday because Larry was off work he was actually coming out to help me feed and that was the Saturday where we found Squeak who we've now sold to a lovely young lady down in Wiggins and Princess our middle doe Corey, who got sold with Gabrielle and Lizzie, and Lizzie's the one the story's about, um, she had given birth, and we thought, we knew she was pregnant, but we thought she was not as far along as she was, and she gave birth to two, you know, happy, healthy, bouncing babies. Um, Precious, our miracle goat, had earlier that month actually aborted a set of twins. Um, that was definitely something I was not expecting we were very heartbroken with that but let's get to the star of the story let's get to Lizzie so since Corey had given birth we realized Lizzie must be coming along pretty quick got to watching her now Lizzie was not a pet goat Lizzie was very standoffish but she was not quite as standoffish as the two that we had sold um, so we got to watching her and we realized every time we came into the goat yard that she just, she wanted us to pet on her. She wanted us to love on her. She got to where she didn't mind me touching her, you know, messing with her belly and stuff. And we got to realizing that she was really far along. Like we could actually see movement in her belly as time got closer and we kept going, oh, and there was the photo bomb from Precious. Not precious, princess. Listen to me. I don't even know my own goats. Um, but as time got closer, we realized that she had to be getting really close to giving birth. And we got to watching her and we kept going, man, today's going to be the day. Now there's this thing people talk about and it's called doe code. And it basically means that your doe ah, will give birth at the most inconvenient, inopportune time possible. Hi, princess. So, we kept watching, kept expecting, and we were going to have this really cold weather, and I was terrified she was going to give birth out in this really cold weather. Like, Larry was laughing at me because I was, okay, we got to get heat lamps. <laughs> We've got to get, you know, we got to get all this stuff. we we got to get prepared. <laughs> and everything. So... Here we were. We were getting all prepared and ready for um, her to have kids. And it just so happened I came out one morning. And I was coming out like super early to check on this goat every morning. She's got to have her time in the spotlight. And look, they both do. I'm getting bombarded with goats. I'm getting bombarded with goats. I don't think I can finish this out here. I'm getting bombarded with goats. <laughs> Come on, princess. There we go. 
<laughs> you say hi, precious. You say hi, precious. Hi, precious. Hi, precious. All right, y'all. I thought I was going to be able to finish this back there, but I wasn't. Um, it just... I have a photo bomber, and her name is Princess, and she's a little white goat, and she loves to climb me like I'm a tree. Anyway, I digress. So, I'm coming out super, super early to check on Lizzie. Like, I was literally up and out here at before dawn. Like, I had to tow the flashlight out to come find her. Um, you know, it was February 4th. Larry was getting up and getting ready to go to work. And I did. It was like 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, coming out to find Lizzie. She was still out there, you know, in what we refer to as the, the playpen. And I could tell she just, she wasn't comfortable. She kept trying to adjust. And, I mean, I could tell she, okay, she hadn't had them, but she's going to have them. And we waited, and we waited. And Larry went on to work. And um, I've mentioned before that we use this thing called Marco Polo. It's a um, video walkie-talkie app. And what I'm actually going to do is show you some clips from my side of the conversation from that morning. Um, I actually managed to almost catch... now. You have to understand, when you hear this, I'm talking to him and only to him. Because that's the way that the, the Marco Polo app works. So, this was a video that was taken for YouTube. Because at the time, we didn't even know we were going to do a YouTube channel. You know, it, it, this this all has really always just been for us. So, we're going to show you all that in a minute. Um, but you'll hear me say things, talk about... Um, Maybe calling in a vet to come see her because we realized that Lizzie had been in labor for hours. Now, being a nurse, having to do an L and D rotation, I understand there comes a point where, okay, this has gone on too long. You you run into problems, and we'll go to the clips, and then I'll come back and kind of tell some more. So just sort of watch the clips and understand that they're going to be in order. So, but it's kind of a, because we were talking through the morning, so just kind of bear with the clips, but the clips show you what's going on, and they kind of show you what, I guess, an idiot I became. Um, when I get nervous, I laugh really bad. I laughed a lot in this, so let's go over to that, and then I'll come back and we'll talk some more. All right, I may have to wait till after this is all over, because my phone's about to die on me. I'm at less than 10%. Um... I can see the contractions coming hard now. She's trying to push. Um, don't have a baby yet. She can't get comfortable and the other damn goats won't leave her alone. We have got to build a damn barn so we can have kitten stalls and stuff. Um, but we're going to make this work however we can. I wish she were here. She could help me pick her up and put her in the A-frame. That way we could at least block her up and let her be alone. But she's she's trying to push. She's trying. There's your girl trying. So hopefully we ain't got much longer now. But if I can get her on her feet, I'm thinking about just dragging her over to the A frame, but I don't think we're gonna have time for that. Um I'm just carrying a towel with me so I've got it when she does spit them out. I don't think we've got much longer now. I love you. I don't know if she's going to let me pick up her tail and do this. We got sack started. We have labor started. I'm fixing to film for as much as my little 5% will let me. I may not get anything. I love you and I will let you know as soon as I can. Yeah, that ain't uh, that ain't happening right now. We got feet, we got a face, she's working on it, she's pushing, she's pushing, we got a little, <laughs> oh, we got baby, we got baby, hold on, there we go, there we go, come on baby, come on, 
Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Oh, sweet baby. <laughs> sweet baby. I'm at 1%. My phone is going to die. There's, yeah, no, there's not any happening right now. Um, we're going to hang out, wait, and as soon as I plug my phone up, I will let you know the outcome of everything. I love you. Bye. All right, I still have 1%. Here's our second baby. Uh, she doesn't seem to be pushing. I don't know that we have a third, but I'm going to hang out and see. Um, Corey's going to get her ass kicked here in a minute because she's getting close. So this is going to be our runt. It's going to be our big one. Big one looks like they passed meconium. Um, and I don't see anything else. I love you. <laughs> I love you. See what I mean about me laughing? So, um, in the video, you see me just throw the phone. And I did. You know, we had been really concerned that she wasn't you know going she wasn't pushing finally when i started seeing that sack start to push out and everything and poor thing she hollered you could tell it hurt sugar was the first one to come out um you can tell that she had been ready to come out a couple, probably a couple hours prior really and truly um because uh, sugar came out with meconium staining She's fine. She's a health, you know, healthy, bouncing baby goat now. Um, her, she was more in second. Her, she did not have any meconium staining. And it was just a really cool process to watch. But, you know, they talk about the goat code, the doe code. And um, that was definitely one of those. It was like, you know, we kept, when, when, is, this, when is she going to give birth? When is she going to give birth? And, but I will say it was the most awesome thing to watch and to sit there and to be a part of. Um, so, that being said, that's my story. Um, I am glad that I could go through and I could get the stuff out of the, the Marco Polo app so that y'all could actually see um, kind of a, a slice of that day and how it went. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's our story. That's the story of Lizzie and her babies being born. Well, we've walked you through the garden, showing you. I'm fixing to go work on some peas. Um, I will probably do a small video either today or next week about putting in the peas. Um, we'll just have to see. I'll have to see where that goes. And I did promise y'all that I was going to introduce you to something that most homesteads are not going to have that we do have here um and i tell you know what take a guess in the comments below as to what you think it is um you know what am i going to introduce y'all to next week because i think y'all probably well, i find it right Okay, I know I've already done the sign off, and um, as you can tell, it's the next day because of the outfit change. However, 
My original sign off, I only tagged two wild onions as the next ones in the collaboration. I have been fortunate enough that Deep South Homestead has agreed to also be tagged in the collaboration. <laughs> so, tagging both of y'all, Two Wild Onions, Deep South Homestead. Y'all, have a blessed day, and as always, be safe.